Now let's take a look at the powerful 1CNC CAD CAM, providing a low purchase price, free technical support, free software updates, easy to learn, easy to use, intuitive workflow, and 100% software ownership. To begin with, we're going to load a SolidWorks file. In fact, this is a SolidWorks 2020 SLD PRT file. That looks good. I'm just going to use the default and click OK and finish. Now the part looks great though I do need to rotate it so I'm going to select it and we're going to just rotate this around the x-axis minus 90 degrees. That looks good but I think I'm going to need to rotate that again around the z-axis. So this time I'm going to rotate around the z-axis minus 90 degrees and click OK. Now that looks great. Next thing I want to do is I want to extract some edges so I can apply some two and a half axis toolpath. That looks good and I'm going to use the extract surface edges and just simply left click all three of those surfaces to extract that wireframe geometry. I'm going to now tell 1CNC that I want to perform four axis position machining. Very good. Now I want to start on this side so I'm going to select that side and let's head over here into our two and a half axis toolpath and let's start with a profile operation. I'm going to climb cut and I'm going to select a tool from the tool library though you don't need to do that. I'm going to select a 750 thousandths diameter tool and 1CNC calculates the speeds and feeds. I'll click next on that. My depth of cut looks good but I am going to add an extra two inches of clearance for when we rotate the part. All this looks good. I'll click OK and there's our tool path. Now I want to machine this side so I'm simply going to select that side and then apply a pocket operation. Select the pocket. That looks good. Again I'm going to select a tool from the tool library. This time I think I'm going to use well, let's go with a quarter inch diameter end mill. 1CNC calculates the speeds and feeds. You can always overwrite the speeds and feeds if you'd like as well. Here I'm demonstrating how I can select the bottom of the pocket to get my Z depth. Very, very easy. I'm going to use high speed closed machining. I'm going to ramp helix in. I think all this looks great. So let's click finish on that and apply the tool path. Now I want to machine that side. So I select that side. And now I'm going to use the hole wizard. Now the whole wizard is great in that it provides strategies that we can use. I'm going to sort the holes from top to bottom, select the group of holes, select next, and I'm going to select a predefined strategy that I created earlier, center drill, drill, and counter bore. Click finish, and that's it. I perform three hole operations all within one command. Now I want to machine that side. Again, we'll go into our pocket operation, select the pocket. Again, I'll select a tool from the library, though you don't need to do that. And let's use a half inch diameter end mill. Speeds and feeds are calculated. We'll click next. Again, I'm going to use the pick Z option where I can extract the actual depth of the pocket from the model. High speed machining, ramp helix in, and there we go. Now, why don't we add an indexer? By using the powerful 1CNC merge command, we can merge geometry without erasing the geometry they already have. That looks great. So let's take this into preview now. We'll right click, go into preview toolpath, and here we go. We're going to start with that first profile operation. Climb cut. That looks very good. Now here's our high speed pocket machining. We're going to helical in. That looks very good. Now it should be noted that I can speed up the toolpath simulation, but let's just leave it at this speed. We're going to rotate, and here's that hole strategy. We center drill, drill, and then we're going to perform a counter bore. By the way, we're outputting CAN cycles, G81 and G83 for that. There's a nice rotation to the last side there. High speed pocket, pull out. That looks great. Let's generate some CNC code. All right, now one CNC ships with over 100 mil post processors. For this, I'm going to use a Haas. So let's find the Haas, select the Haas, select post, and then generate our CNC code. One CNC provides a very powerful text editor, and you also have the ability to upload and download your files using the One CNC RS232. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We took a look at One CNC's powerful CAD CAM software, the ease of use, and the intuitive workflow. If you have any questions, please contact, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.